Exactly. We don't go to the doctor. A groundswell of opposition to the new Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act has North Carolina Republicans pushing against a brick wall. Today's event is focused on Tenth Amendment issues, states' rights, and trying to get our legislature to not follow this insane national health care program. It's going to take a lot of effort to get the General Assembly to act. That's because the Assembly's rules do not allow legislators to introduce new bills during the short session. The 2010 short session opened Wednesday. However, the public's growing dissatisfaction spurred Tar Heel Republicans to try and change those rules. The only problem is Democrats control the process and have a clear answer on whether to allow a change. Uh, no. The uh, Attorney General has made a decision that is sound based on the law not to join in. If he is wrong, then the uh, decisions in other states will control what happens in North Carolina as well. The president pro tempore of the Senate, Mark Basnight, had a similar answer. I would hope we did not do that. Uh, we have not discussed that uh, yet. Uh, I would not be for doing that. Without the rules change, Republicans will not be able to introduce a bill they've prepared. It would say no North Carolinian can be forced to buy a health insurance plan if they don't want one. GOP leaders call the federal law a threat to freedom. If this uh, federal mandate goes into effect, it'll be the first time in history that we can think of where the government has required an individual to buy something as a condition of living and breathing. On March 23rd, President Obama signed the bill into law. The same day, Florida Attorney General Bill McCollum sued the federal government over the mandate to buy insurance. At last count, 20 states have joined the lawsuit. Last month, activists tried to get Attorney General Roy Cooper's attention. Cooper ignored their calls and decided the lawsuit was not a wise use of resources. The groundswell against reform has bipartisan support east of Raleigh. In April, Duplin County commissioners passed two resolutions related to the health care reform law. One called on Attorney General Roy Cooper to join the multi-state lawsuit. The other calls on the General Assembly to apply for a constitutional convention and propose amendments protecting the freedom to choose health care. One of the Duplin County commissioners who helped introduce the resolutions says they're about freedom. I do not want the government to interfere with my health decisions. And I think that this is a, an attempt to regulate um, what should be a private family issue. The Duplin County commissioners say they hope to convince other counties around North Carolina to pass similar resolutions. Choanne County did so on May 3rd. Public support continues to move in favor of repealing the law. The latest Rasmussen Reports poll says 56 percent of Americans favor repeal, while 37 percent want to keep the law. It'll take a long time and a lot of effort, but we will peel it back. Staying well, staying healthy. We don't go to the doctor every time we have a sniffle. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.